Hello. Good morning. Hi, friends. How's it going? It's Kate with Relevé Vintage. Happy weekend. Yay. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. All right. We love that. All right. Coming back to my comments here. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning. Hi, Carolina. Good morning. Thanks for being here, you guys. I'm going to just double check my phone. Yep, looks like I'm coming in loud and clear. Good morning, Robert. Hello, happy weekend, happy Friday. Woohoo! Yeah, I've had a busy work week, so I'm like celebrating bringing in this uh, this weekend. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing great. It's nice to see you guys this morning. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kate with Relevé Vintage and I'm not quite sure what that was there, right? I think that was like a dance move right there. Kate with Relevé Vintage. Um, and I have an Etsy shop of the same name, Relevé Vintage. So yes, thank you, Carolina. She actually had a lot of fun coming on the show. If you guys, um, good morning, Melinda. Yes, my mango monkey. Um, if you guys uh, were here last week, you know that yes, it was April Fools. So yes, we started out with um these two lovely egg friends in our seats um you know i'm sure we fooled some people right yep um so yeah it was a silly morning last week with april fools i didn't want to do anything to like trick you guys to make you think that you know i don't know april fools is a tough one because um you know if you say something really good it's like and then you're like april fools then people are like wah, wah. and then if you say something really bad and you're like oh just kidding then, you know, people are like, okay, don't ever scare me like that again. So uh, April Fool's is a, is a tricky one. So hi, Nettie. Hello, hello. <laughs> Not fully awake yet. Okay, well, that brings me to my next thing. So you guys will laugh. This is the first time in Vintage Coffee Talk history that I am icing. Yes, because it is 82 degrees where I am right now at 9.02 a.m. We are at 82 degrees. No joke. The high for today will be to 98 I got my hair up on off my neck <laughs> and my banana clip and I had to ice today. So yeah, so I am drinking. Um... Hi, Leanne. Oh, Leanne, we got to talk about the 18th too. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I've had a very, very crazy uh, work week. So I did get your message and, I'll, and I want to talk to you about getting together on the 18th, maybe. So it's so fun. We get to meet up in person. Uh, hi, LaDonna. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. I've got to have a sip. It's very hot here. Now, this is a re, I don't, um, I don't really go to Starbucks, but I'm the kind of person that goes once in a while when I have to, and then I save the cup. So I don't know. Oh, this was a passion tea, PT, and it's venti, except it's in a bigger cup. She said, I don't have, this was last weekend when I was at the dance competition. My, my group had a had a um, dance competition all last weekend. And so there's a, there was a Starbucks in the hotel and I needed my passion tea, which I love. It's just the red hibiscus tea. I get it unsweetened and I make it here at home too, because I'm pretty sure they just use the, the Tazo tea brand, which I make sun tea with that, but that's beside the point. So she said, I don't have a venti cup, so I'm going to put it in a something, something cup. And I didn't know there was a something, something cup. I thought it went tall, which is small. Grand, grande, grande, grand, which is a medium, and a venti, which is a large. Apparently, this is an extra large. And I have the cup, and I was like, oh, I'm saving that. So, yeah, I save all of these because, yeah, because they're plastic, and they don't really recycle them if you bring them to the recycling center. I mean, a lot of things have that little triangle. And then when you get there, they're like, yeah, you can't, you can't turn it in. So, all right. Hello, hello. Yes, I know. Heat wave time. I'm hearing all about it across the board. Yes, I'm icing today, you guys. It's 82 here where I am already. It will get to, I, I predict it's going to hit 100. That's just my prediction. So hi, Steph. Hi, Brenda. Good to have you guys. Good morning. We're just talking about the heat wave. Woohoo. And it actually kind of is funny because I don't know what made me change my theme today, but I changed it. Yes, unbeknownst to me. Last night when I went to bed, today was going to be a spring, well, no, not a spring, an Easter clearance sale. Today, it's a beach sale. So 
I don't know, beach on the brain, the heat, something like that. I just didn't feel like, um, I don't know, doing Easter. I have it. If anybody needs, um, <laughs> Christy says heat wave here, 42. Woo. Yeah. Get your hair up. Get your iced, <laughs> your iced beverage. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Robert, how are you going to handle that heat? It's a blistering 35 degrees where Robert is. So I know, and I'm not telling you guys, I'm not, you know, don't think I'm taunting anybody like, woo, I'm in the heat. Not that at all, because you know what? There's good and bad. Every Some people like heat, some people like cold. Um, you know, Margaret, she's in 35 degree weather. Margaret, you have something in common with, with Robert. It's 35 degrees where you are. Yeah. So <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, yes. So basically it's, you know, it's, it's not, sometimes it's not great to be, you know, in the, <laughs> the 10 below, but it's also kind of, you know, it's, it's the hundred degrees gets a little much, especially because I have a two story townhouse. So in, a, in like a hundred degree weather, I mean, I would have to blast my AC nonstop 24 seven to get to a place where I could even like sleep in the upstairs because the heat just rises. So anyway, that's when I can, I guess, sleep down on my couch with my with my three guinea pigs, <laughs> something like that. So, hi, Jenny. Hello, hello. Yeah, I know. See, and look at this. And so Starbucks gave me, does anybody know? I thought it went tall, grande, venti, but she said, I'm out of venti cup, so I'm going to put your venti in a something, something. It's huge. And so it's like they filled it to here, and that was a venti. So I had some space, but I was like, that's a great reusable cup. So I don't know. Apparently, you can get a vat of coffee or a vat of whatever you need if it's an emergency at Starbucks. But so anyway, so this is my, it's just black coffee with soy milk. That's what I like for my iced is soy milk. And I don't do my coffee sweet. I do my coffee unsweetened. So yeah, I know I'm the same Brenda. Brenda says, um, sorry, I, I haven't been clicking. I'm clutching my coffee, not been clicking. Uh, Brenda says I caved in and turned on my air on three. Yeah. I hate trains. I do too. I'm the same way. I, I go by months like that. And it's like, I don't, you know, same with the heat. I'm the same exact way. Like it gets colder and colder and colder. And I'm like sweatshirt and sweatshirt and blanket and slippers and Ugg boots. And then eventually, okay, I'm turning on the heat. Um, so yes. Um, I agree, Brenda. I was like, really, you know, and then, and I can, I can adjust more you know, but then, you know, my son, who's, he'll be 14 on Easter, um, you know, it's all about the hoodies. So he'll be like, mom, can we turn the air on? I'm like, first thing, let's take off the giant hoodie. <laughs> He's like, looks at me like I'm crazy. What? My hoodie? Um, so yeah, so, I, you know, I'm peeling layers and here he is, you know, in his long pants, his long socks, his high top Nikes and his hoodie going, mom, can we turn the AC on? No. Strip down to your underwear and then tell me if you want the, the air on. <laughs> so, oh, a Trenta, a Trenta. Okay, so this giant cup beyond venti is Trenta. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, you can only get certain things in the Trenta. Mmm, I have a coveted Trenta glass. Very nice, very nice. All right, yeah. <laughs> I just, look <laughs> on it. And say, oh yeah, I know, Leanne, you just moved. We have three floors and upstairs was so hot. I yes. Okay, so three floors. So you yeah, you feel me on the heat rising there. You're just like, okay, I don't even want to go up to the top floor. I get that. So LaDonna, I need one of those catering coffee jugs. <laughs> just that's true. LaDonna, there is a very funny, um, I don't know what you call it. I'm gonna say GIF. Maybe it's GIF, GIF GIF. Um, those things that we send on our phone that are those little animated things. And it's so funny. It looks like Snow White. I don't know. It's a princess or something. And um, yeah, she's like all prim and proper. And then there's like one of those beautiful silver canisters of coffee. And she just like Wah! throws her head under there, turns on the spout. I love it. I send that out when, <laughs> when it's early morning and I can't wake up. I send that out to my friends. So <laughs> that's true. Hi, Pamela. Good morning. Great to see you here. We are just talking about the weather as people do on a Friday morning. 
Sorry, you're going to have to excuse the sloshing of the ice. I should put that down. I'm just trying to keep cool so I don't overheat halfway through our time. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, flannel shirts. Yeah, you got to love it. <laughs> let's lose the, let's lose all the warmies before we start talking about AC. So, yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. They will not make you a frappe or a latte in that. Typically, you can get refreshers, iced coffees, and some of the cold brews. Oh, hashtag the more you know. There we go. Well, yeah, and I don't, I'm not typically a Starbucks person. Um, just because I'm not a fancy coffee person, I'm more ba like a basic coffee person. If, I, if I'm drinking my coffee hot, I just like black coffee. Black coffee in bed. That's all I like. And then if I'm doing iced, it's just a dash of soy milk. So I'm so boring that I don't usually go to Starbucks. But if I ever do, like I was at the dance competition, I always save these because I do like having these. They're nice to make iced coffee in and things like that. So hi, you guys. Well, it's so good to see you. So um, we are going to do our live sale and our chat and our show and tell, but I wanted to go over some things with you guys. First, I want to address the fact that Vintage Coffee Talk is only a single screen right now. So uh, Julie is not uh, here today. So uh, Julie, as some of you might know, is, um, is uh, giving care to a family member. So Julie's mother-in-law is in need of some extra care right now and some, um, some in-home care and things like that. So we're all sending our love to Julie. She may um, be able to pop in today, so that would be great. But I, of course, told her that I would hold down the, the Vintage Coffee Talk Fort until she's able to join us again. Um, but it was a little bit unexpected, just a change of events that means that her and her husband are putting in lots of time um, right now and getting her set up with maybe some um, some long-term in-home care and some things going on with that. And as we know, that can all be um, kind of an exhausting process and somewhat you know, stressful and a little bit sad and she's okay, but um, it's just her time right now is is precious in terms of of, um, of helping to take care of, of family. So we just wish her well and we miss her. And if you're watching on the re replay, Julie, um, yeah, I miss my co-host, of course. And uh, we just can't wait till you're back. So we wish you the best. All right. So um, now Caroline is in the chat. So I thought I would give a little um, a little update. So you guys all know I'm trying to grow a string of turtles. And um, yeah, Carolina decided that, you know, the magic trick was having my cool Ikea um, dancer hold them. So it's doing good. I think it's watering day. Um, I do see a little bit of new growth. I don't see anything falling off. So that's a good sign. One of the ways I know of my plants is the first thing when I go to pick it up to water it, I'm like, do you have any little leaves dropping off there? So anyway, looking good. So I'm going to say thumbs up on the string of turtles, which is awesome. There we go. Very nice. Yay. All right. So good, good. I'm going to put it up here so we can all enjoy the string of turtles. So I have another, um, well, now I'm going to knock my mushroom over. I have this statue too, but this, oh, well, I guess this statue can hold stuff. I have to hold like. I don't know, some jewelry. That would be pretty, actually. Could hang like um, necklaces right here and something around her neck. Anyway, yeah. So it's dusty. Don't look at that part. But um, yeah, so she's cool. I guess she could hold other things. All right, those are my my dancer ladies that are in my that are in my logo. So thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I love plants, but I don't pretend to really know what I'm doing. I'm like a hit or miss, like. Buy it and cross your fingers. That's my gardening tips for everybody. Just go like, grow, 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 grow. And then you can sing the song from Little Shop of Horrors, Grow For Me. So, oh yeah, I don't have any cats, LaDonna. I love cats. I wish I could have cats because I grew up with cats. I love cats and dogs, but I just have dogs now. Um, but I remember my cats being treacherous with the, especially the hanging plants and things like that. But I can't have cats because uh, my niece uh, is highly, highly allergic. So would not be able to come into my house if I had cats or cat dander. So, yeah. So today we're doing beach. Yeah. So I was going to do a um, spring um, Easter clearance because I have a lot of Easter things, but today we're going to be doing beach. So yeah. Thanks for reminding me, Ruby Rose. You got to keep me on track here. I'm like, woo. Like talking about all kinds of different things this morning. So, uh, yeah, so the sale today is going to be beach. Um, as usual, I think most everybody knows here that um, I do uh, PayPal for invoicing and pirate ship for shipping. So, yeah. Um, 
Yes. Yes, Jenny. Those are from Ikea. Uh, let's see. Those were given to me when I moved by a good friend, kind of like a housewarming years and years ago. Goodness. Um, how long ago? Let's see. 2004, 2005, something like that. I guess they're not technically vintage, but yeah, they're, they're Ikea. I, I'm 99% sure they are. So I love them. Yeah. And I love them so much that that's what's in my, that's what's in my logo. They're my dancer people. So <laughs> I know I kind of, I'm kind of jumping. I kind of jump. So thank you, Leon, for putting up with my, oh, oh. yeah, here and there. So, um, yeah, so we're going to be doing beach today. I just wasn't feeling the Easter. I woke up and um, I actually am going to be headed to um, the beach tomorrow. We're doing like a little impromptu birthday party for my son. He turns 14 on Easter. So um, we'll be out of town on Easter weekend. So I told him to invite a friend. We'll be going to the beach tomorrow and they're going to rent the bikes, these little three wheelers that you ride on the boardwalk and, and have food and things like that. So that'll be fun. So yeah, I like, I do like Ikea, Pam. It's a little bit, um, it's kind of overwhelming sometimes and it really shifts. Like sometimes I go in there and I want everything that's there. And other times I can like walk out with just like a hanging planter. So, but it is cool. It's a fun place to walk through because it's three levels. You know, it does smell like Swedish meatballs <laughs> if you like that. But um, yeah, it's a fun place to walk through. I mean, when when my boys were little, we would go in there and it would be ours because they have all those. It's like a house. It's a giant three-story house and they have all the family rooms set up and the bedrooms. They're climbing on the bunk beds. And yeah, so it's kind of a fun place to go. Yeah. Yeah, they're on my yeah, they're my logo, Jenny. So they're on my big banner. My son did it for me. He just I just I get I'm like, I like this scarf and I like these. And he just set it up and added some shading and things like that. So I don't do any of that kind of stuff. But it's also my little avatar that says RLV BTG. They're like dancing on the sides, but it's a little bit cut off on my square logo. You can see both my statues. But then um, you know, YouTube makes it into a circle, so you kind of get er, a little bit of them. I think their arms and legs are cut off just a bit. So all right. Um, let's see. So that's what we're going to be doing today's beach. We will do our show and tell you guys can show anything that you want and um, I'll check the hashtag afterwards. So we're just going to do a smaller sale because I don't have Julie. So it'll be about 10 or 12 items all with the beach theme. You guys know I love the beach. I love my shells, all that stuff. So I just felt like, um, I don't know, just kind of in the mood. So just going to have everything be beachy. And I am doing a giveaway today. So for those of you that purchase, you'll have a chance to win this vintage beach postcard. So this is um, California coastline at La Jolla. So I have been to La Jolla. The, these tide-worn rocks and cliffs and plumy waves rolling up on sandy beaches are one of the real attractions of the California coast. And it's by manufactured by Longshaw Card, Los Angeles, California. It's not written on. Um, I just love the scene. I love the coloring of it. So that's La Jolla, which I've been to La Jolla. That's on our way to San Diego. If we, if we go to SeaWorld or something, we stopped here one time. Cute little town, really cool uh, rocks to walk on. Yeah. So there's that. All right. So this is a giveaway that you, if you purchase that you'll be entered to win the postcard. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get started, everybody. All right. With our beachiness. Okay. We're going to start out. Now, this is a beach lot that I have all ready to go into my Etsy shop. So some of the things are going to start a little bit higher because a lot of my beach stuff is geared toward, oh, I'll put that in my Etsy shop. So, all right. The first thing that we are going, that I'm going to show is this clear glass dolphin. And he is on polished driftwood um, or they are on polished driftwood. And um, it's just a really cool piece. If you're into ocean, beach, decor, um, really high quality glass. It's crystal clear. Like I can't find a bubble. I can't find anything. So um, all of his little fins are totally intact, sitting on this really pretty um, piece of polished driftwood or um, some type of wood. There's a name for this type of wood that escapes me. And here's the bottom. So the bottom um, doesn't have the finish on it, but it has these legs that are really well attached. And when you put it down, it's really sturdy. Um, and this is going to be starting at $18 for this guy. His um, little, you know, bottle nose is all good. I checked the flippers and he's awesome. So this is one of the beach items that I have today. I'll see if I can grab a, um, oh, here we go. I'll grab another beach item and show you. So, yeah, so he sticks really well. Those little um, pads stick really well. So here he is. This is how he sits. Do, 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 do. And there we go. And if anybody, oh. 
sticks really well as long as I don't dump it forward. Uh, for anybody watching on the replay, if you're interested, then go ahead and email me at the email below or um, and reach out to me. And um, if you make a comment as well, those comments will come to me. So, all right. So there we go. I'll do up close of him. This is our glass dolphin. He's very well secured, not loose, not twisting. And this guy starts at 18. So there we go. All right, little dolphin. I have lots of dolphins. I didn't realize that there were all so many dolphins. I have some sea stars too. So, all right. And the next item I have, I'll just hold it right up here. This is our dolphin tile. It's so cute. I usually put plants. I have plants um, on top of my tiles. And this is a Triton, 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 Triton tile, a painting or hot plate, all original designs and hand painted in the USA. So this is a Triton tile. And this one is going to start at $8. And it's in great condition. You can... <clears throat> see that it was like hand done all of these little sections are filled in so it's you can feel where all of the uh you know little lines are and everything like that he's super cute the colors are great it looks cute in a like in a vignette standing up so this is our dolphin triton tile and i'll show you the sticker right there triton tile hand painted in the usa Yep. And it has, um, it can stick on the ground. So it's got these little, um, you know, cork feet, but also has this right here to make it easy for hanging, which I love because otherwise you've got to like connect something, put the wire. So yeah, it can automatically, automatically be hung on the wall and it would look cute in a, um, in a gallery wall, I feel like. And the size on this, it is a six by six square, a six by six square. And this starts at $8 for the dolphin tile. There we go. And as I said, if anybody is watching on the replay, then um, just go ahead and you can take a screenshot of the item. You can describe it to me. So I don't really think I have any duplicates today. Um, so yeah, just checking to see if my Wi-Fi is clear. I check on my phone because sometimes when I'm here, I can't tell if I'm, if I'm fuzzy. All right, moving right along. <clears throat> the next thing I have is this on the dolphin theme. I'm telling you, I guess we'll just get all the dolphins out of the way. When I said beach, I wasn't kidding. All right. So this is a <clears throat> beautiful Norcrest dolphin. I love this. Here is the um, sticker. This Norcrest dolphin is going to start at $15. Um, he's in great condition and you can tell that he's got that kind of pearly or iridescence to him for his painting. And he, uh, this is the bottom. I, this is obviously a leftover sticker here. And then we've got the Norcrest um, Japan right there. Um, he's in great condition. I've looked him over. There is a teeny, beeny, beeny, beeny. Uh, see if you can see it right there. So look on the side of his little bottle nose and you can see a very, very slight white spot right underneath my fingernail. Um, if you can't, yeah, there you go. Now it's coming in. So there's that little spot right there. And I think that's it. He's in such good condition. Look at the little wave on the tail. So cute. So great condition. And he stands, um, let's see. They stand five and a half inches tall. Um, and about seven inches across from tail to nose. So really great condition. All the fins are there. Cute little expression in his eyes. And I love how the painting's done. So there we go cute cute all right so this is we'll call this the norcrest dolphin and it starts at 15. there we go all right I'll put him down i think that's all my dolphins pretty sure all right okay oh <laughs> i have two more dolphins well we're gonna mix it up we're gonna go to fish here we go we are going to go to fish so this i'm gonna show um the well octopi octopus Yes, I know. Did you guys watch Flipper? Yeah. My friend, uh, Debbie Denethorne and I used to play um, in the pool. We used to swim in the pool and we would play Flipper. We would pretend we were dolphins and we would play Flipper. And she was always better at making the dolphin noise than I was. But I think she loved Flipper more than I did. But um, So I have this pair of champagne flutes with this cool <laughs> design. So... 
They're like, if you put them together, it's an octopus. There are eight legs. <laughs> Otherwise, there are four. They do stand up. So I've actually, I've shown these before um, while I've been on, but I've never actually put them up in a live sale. Um, but when I went on to, uh, I think Katie Vintage and Vinyl had a New Year's Eve uh, celebration and we got to each go on and sell a mystery box. So we were all kind of drinking out of fancy uranium that night because it was New Year's Eve. So I chose this one. So I actually have shown these before, but they do stand up like this. So you can see they're super cool, really high quality glass. They are signed. Um, I know they're so fun. I love these. Um, let's see. So, well, they're signed, but it's, I'll show you. And it's, what's funny about it is they signed it on the one little um, pinnacle that is up. So it's going to be hard to see because it's clear glass, but there is, um, they've etched in here uh, numbers. So it says, I know these are so cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, two, three, one, seven, nine, 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 nine. So 19, nine, I believe so it's hard to decipher, and I have researched these because I've never seen them before. It's either an eight-digit identification number or it's a four-digit identification number with 1999. So these could be from 1999 because the last four digits are 1999. So as I said, these are, um, these are really, really unique. They are both um, etched here um, on the little uh, tentacle right there. I think you can see that. Um, and they are quite tall. They're nine inches and they're in great condition. All of the little tips of the tentacles are there and they're just super cool. So these um, two octopi glasses, they're actually going to start at $20. Um, as I said, I pulled some of my beach stuff that's set to go on into my Etsy shop. So you get the pair for $20 and these are signed octopi um, or sea creature. I guess sea creature would be more appropriate. Um drinking glasses. So yeah, a fun gift for somebody, something different. Again, you guys know my thing. I always want people to go, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Where'd you get that? So I love different things. I love things that you've never seen before. So um, these definitely fit the bill for that. So for the pair of sea creature champagne flutes, um, these start at $20. So cheers. All right. We'll put those over there. Good, good. All right, I'm just gonna check on my chat. There we go. I wanna make sure I don't miss anybody coming in. And if you're working and listening, hello to you too. And Julie and I call you guys listeners, not lurkers. So it's okay to listen and work. And I won't accuse you of lurking. So that's okay, lurking, listening. All right, good. So we're gonna move on. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love these colors. So. Here we have a, this is made by Bavano of Cheshire. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that, but if um, if you love things like this, I encourage you, if you look up and research Bavano, B-O-V-A-N-O -O, of Cheshire, oh, this guy, I mean, he's, I mean, okay, so here's my hand. So there you go. So if you spread your hand out, that's how big he is, right? Um, like that. But if you go on and look at some of these, oh, they're magnificent. There's some that are huge that have whole, like it's a whole underwater coral, crazy fish, beautiful. Like you would fill your whole entire wall with it. <clears throat> it's gorgeous. Um, so this is just one fishy fish, uh, angel fish, and then some coral. And there's the sticker. So these are all hand done. This is Bavano of Cheshire, uh, made in Connecticut, made in um Handmade Cheshire, Connecticut. So it's an authentic Bavano. So, but you can look these up. They're so beautiful. They're so well made. That's the hanger on the back. They can also stand up on their own too. You can put this little, there's the, there's the little round hook, but there's a way that you can also stand these up. I don't want to bend anything because it's all welded. And what you can see is the iridescence on all these pieces. The coral has this pink iridescence. So if you hold this in the sun, it's shiny and really beautiful. And this little thing right here, it's funny because this does this looks like a scratch, but it's not. It's actually what they do is they take a tool and they etch like um, patterns. So right here, I don't know if you can see, but that's the bottom part. There we go. That's the bottom part that's been etched in for the fin. And then this line is the is also been put in there. So it's not a scratch up close. You can see it's part of the of the design. So 
yeah, so super cool. And it's a wall hanging. It can be a wall hanging or it can also sit and, um, you know, be part of a, of a vignette or be decor. So this um, Bavano Angelfish is going to start at $14. So I forgot to say that. And I do think, right, I learned this at the aquarium, all the field trips with my sons, that this is the marking over here because they want the, they want the predators to be confused. So you're like, is that the front of the fish or is that the front? front of the fish you get what i'm saying yeah right so that's the front of the fish but they want you to think that that's going it's going that way <laughs> so what material is it yeah wouldn't it be really cute i know and so so when i was researching this when i looked it up then i was like oh man then i saw all the ones i was like those are beautiful if you had like yes yeah, like a beach condo or something i mean just fascinating the colors are gorgeous so um it's I believe that this is um, copper right here, um, Robert. This is copper. So I'm thinking that this is that the whole thing is made of copper and then it's coated in whatever they've painted it with on this side. They've also painted the copper on this side, but with just a more basic like a gray um, paint. And then you can kind of see this is all welded here. So they're all welded together. So it's just it's metal, aluminum, some type of that so these are really cool oh awesome okay i've i have jenny at 14 thank you jenny yeah he's so cool i just love him i love the angel fish too awesome all right we'll give it one more second for the leg and then i'll count it down so thank you jenny yeah it's very fun i encourage you to if you know go on and look they're so 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 pretty so I have, I have, um, it would go in my bathroom, except that I have a completely different color scheme in there, but I do have fish, but it just doesn't match with, um, <laughs> you're saying the same thing I'm saying, I know, but it's, it's, uh, it's just too cute. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. All right. Thanks, Jenny. You'll love it. In person, it's even, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, it's even more pretty in person because, um, yeah, just the sparkle and the iridescence. So, <laughs> all right. Cool. I got you going for that. Awesome. All right. Good, good, good. And you're going in the drawing for the postcard as well, the Vintage Coastal Postcard. All right, the next thing that I have, um, this is super cool. I love this. This this would fit in my decor, um, and it's really, really cool. L look at me. I just should have called it Dolphin Day. Why did I call it Beach Day? Should have been Dolphin Day. More dolphins. So this is a handmade um, signed piece. It is a vase. Um, let me see if I've got any of my dog walk flowers here. Do, do, do. Well, a little bit, a little bit of dried ones. But it needs bigger flowers than this. But it's, oh, goodbye. Okay, those are gone. So it is like wrapped around dolphins. I'll just take this out. <laughs> You're not cooperating. <laughs> Apparently very dried. Okay, so we have wrapped around dolphins. It's um, it's like a porcelain or ceramic. It it um is not a shiny glaze uh, as you can see, but it's also not the chalkboard feeling bisque. Um. It's, I would say, in between. It's more of a smooth feeling. So it doesn't have that yucky feeling, but it's definitely matte. Well, I say yucky feeling. Some people, I don't mind bisque, but some people don't like that chalkboard feeling of bisque. It is not that. And what's interesting is it's, it is shiny glazed on the inside. So you absolutely can use it for a vase because it's got a shiny glaze here, but then they left it matte on the outside. It is signed. I'm going to see if you can um, see that. Oh, it's going to be tricky. Oh, yep. That's one of those colors and textures that says, no, I don't think I'm going to show on your camera, Kate. Well, you see a little scribble right there. So down here, it has um, scribbled into there, 1984. 1984, and I don't know. It has a cursive. Um, it has a cursive. Yeah, not going to show. 
promise it's there. It has a cursive signature, which is hard to read, but if you looked at it long enough, I know you could. With a little, it has a little line under it, and then it says 1984. So it it is um, very old on the bottom. You can see that they put felt on it um, so that it wouldn't scratch, and it's in good condition. It has a few like little scuff marks, maybe. Um, you can see this dolphin right here has a little scuff above his eye. I didn't do anything to this except for a basic clean like I do before I show something. But um, but those marks will come off. I can tell by the material and they're just very like superficial. But um, yeah, so how cool is this? It's a handmade piece. I like how it's not even on the top. And this is going to start at $10. So for the signed um, dolphin vase, as I said, it is sealed on the inside. So um, this with like some beachy white flowers would look so pretty. Um, let's see. We have doo -doo -doo, six inches tall by four inches wide. There we go. So I love the color on this. It's coming across true to color. It's a pretty, pretty pale blue. And I just think that they're so sweet. So the dolphin show on Vintage Coffee Talk. All right. There we go. Oh, I see LaDonna for 10. Thanks, LaDonna. Good. Yeah. So many dolphins. And I'm not even done, you guys. I have, oh my gosh, I have two more dolphins. I'm laughing. I didn't realize everything for my beach was dolphins, but it is. So when I when I go back into the show, I'm going to change the thumbnail. It's the dolphin show. Do, 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 do. All right. Very cool. I'm sure, LaDonna, you can read that. Um, gosh. R-S-H. Uh, anyway. Yeah. I know you can read the signature. So um, super pretty. Very cool piece. And functional, which we love. Dolphin tail. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down in case anybody else is interested. We're going to say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, LaDonna. Coming your way. All right. Good, good. Thank you so much. I'm laughing at how many dolphins I have. I'm going to go back after the show and see. I mean, I think that's like, I have 11 things to show you guys today. I think seven of them are dolphins. So, <laughs> ah, we'll do, LaDonna. Oh, that's awesome. I sure will. Now, I think of uh, Danny, the niche lady, as um, as a turtle person. Is is uh, is she also, is she dolphins as well? I don't. I, if, if she is, I did not realize that. So that's so nice. I absolutely will do that, Ladonna. How kind of you. <laughs> Coming your way, Danny. Yay! Awesome. Okay, let me make a note of that. Um, Good, so LaDonna, and it's going to go to Danny. Oh, that's so great. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I'm putting her down right now because I don't want to forget to do that. How sweet. You guys are so kind. So, Danny, you have a surprise coming, but I can't tell you what it is, and it's from LaDonna. Okay. <laughs> Oh, good morning. Well, who's here? My little egg. My little egg companion is in the chat. Hello. I'm waving to you. What's up? <laughs> My sister Karen's here. So Carolina came on this morning. Uh, Karen just saying how uh, nice it was to see you. And yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah so karen shaw for those of you that were here last week she was here with me spring break and got to come on my tuesday night um if you guys are interested in anything hawaiian we had a hawaiian night um reliving our days where we we traveled gosh so we had been together we had been to hawaii three times together when we were young and college and then when we were um yeah, we were both pregnant with our first one to, to grind. Oh, you're feeling excellent today. I'm so happy about that. You're feeling excellent today. I have an egg. Okay. 
So, well, we're doing beach today, Care Bear. Yes, it's beach day. It was going to be a spring Easter clearance, but eh. So we're off to the beach, but actually it should be called dolphin day because I did not realize that almost every item has a dolphin in some way on it. So, <laughs> but yes, I've had many people message me about how it was nice to meet you, Karen, last week on the Hawaii, which was the Tuesday night. So there's lots of Hawaiian stuff left if you guys want to go. And then we did, oh, on Friday, Vintage Coffee Talk last week. That's right. Yeah, I let my sister pick everything for the sale. So everything that was everything that was in there last week was her going through my inventory. So I know, I know. Um, it's been fun so far. So I'm just doing like a little small sale. It's like 11 or 12 things. So um, being that I'm on my own. So I don't want to don't wanna go on forever. All right, so we're moving on next. Guess what I have, you guys? I know, it's going to blow you away. That's shocking. It's a dolphin. Do, 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 do. This is an ironwood dolphin and super cute. Um, we're doing starts on things today. So the ironwood dolphin starts at $8 and do, 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 swimming on over. So some of you might know ironwood is like, it's a hard, heavy wood and it's dark and um, they do lots of carvings with it. So here's a little dolphin. Now he is um, five inches long and two inches tall so two inches by five and um yeah it's got so i want you to say like on the carving sometimes it's hard to see we're like is that did they carve it that way or is it a chip so here's the tail on the bottom and then on the top you can see right on this side i feel like there might be a little bit out of it but you can't really tell it's just a different shape than the other side. So if you're looking at it like this, you can see this side looks skinnier, but I think it's because maybe um, a piece of the wood came off, but you can't really tell when it's a carving. So either, I don't know, but I wanted to point that out that the tail um, on this side may have, that may be a chip. I feel like a little tiny piece of wood came off, but you can't really tell, but I still like to show everything I can possibly show. This little flipper is good. These little flippers down here are good. Now, again, these two are different sizes. So, yeah, um, these are different sizes. Like, they're not chipped at all, but you can see they carved them. So one bottom flipper is a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, and great condition. So he's super cute. He starts at, what did I say? I don't want to say the wrong thing. $8. So $8 for the Ironwood Dolphin. So, oh, I see Jenny. Yeah, Karen, you'll have to come and visit for sure. He's so cute. Anytime. Yeah, and she offered to come and be co-host again today. She's home now, but I could have had her come into StreamYard. But it's the last morning of her spring break officially. So I wanted her to be able to sleep in and enjoy her last day off work. She's had a two-week spring break, so that's pretty awesome. So, all right. Thanks, Jenny. If anybody else is interested... You can get your bids in. Otherwise, I would like to start counting this cute little guy down. Get you the front front view right there. So, so nice to see that you guys are feeling the beach too. All right. I'm going to say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, like SeaWorld, 4, 3, 2, 1. Da, 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 da. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> cool. All right. We'll put that in your pile. There we go. Got some fun finds coming your way. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. I'm still doing good in the chat. That's one thing. When Julie and I are together, you know, one of us looks at the chat and one of us, you know. So, yeah, it's a little different when you're on all by yourself. I like being on with other people, too. It's, it's fun because you have somebody to talk to in real time. So, Jenny's like, hmm, come feeling the marine life. Well, Jenny, I have, you know, I consider my style to be eclectic. I don't think we all have to go like one thing because it's funny. I mean, these are beach items that I'm moving along, but I have ones that I don't move along that I keep with me. I love like the coastal thing. I have some really cool beach things that I love, but I wouldn't say I do total coast, you know, beach decor. I do like boho and it, I feel like these items, anytime it's like wood or something like that, they just blend in so well, like natural items. So I mix it all up all the time. All right. Thank you, Jenny. I'm going to put you down. 
All right, and next up, guess what? It's a baby dolphin, except the baby dolphin has a friend. Oh, so cute. My favorite thing about this is the smallest thing, which is the baby dolphin. Here she comes. Do, 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 do. Baby dolphin. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Robert says he taught oceanography to his fifth graders. Love teaching that unit. Oh, my goodness. I just love it. I just love it. Um, we have uh, the Aquarium of the Pacific, um, which is in Long Beach, which is a beautiful aquarium, um, which is a fave of ours. And then Monterey Bay Aquarium, of course, up by um, Carmel in California is our other biggie that's gorgeous. Um, our family likes to do trips to uh, Monterey and go to the aquarium. And then we go um, we go kayaking in in Monterey there kayaking and you go out to the, the kelp beds and um, you're there with the, um, all the otters and they're just hanging out and they're you're there with the sea lions and the sea lions come just they just pop their heads up right there and they look at you um, when we went years ago one of the sea lions um popped up and put its head onto my brother-in-law's uh, kayak about scared the bejesus out of him i thought he was going to flip out of his kayak he was so scared um and yeah they're really they're really fun um things to learn about so we yeah and then just being close to the beach we just you know, we love it. We see all kinds of tide pools. And then we have a thing here called red tide. So that's when usually in August, um, you can't really swim because red tide means that all the jellyfish are in the water. So it actually looks red. And then, you know, but it's, but they wash up on the beach. So it's like kind of interesting that you can go and see all the, all the, the jellyfishers. So yeah, so this one, you know, it's all about this baby dolphin. And I guess she found it and she's taking care of it because I don't know. He didn't have a mother. So here we go. So she's just super cool. I do not know the maker on this. Um, I like her hair. I kind of like her makeup. Um, she's got this shell here, which you could put. Um, I do have air plants and you could put something in there. You could put a single bud vase. Um, but it is kind of cool. I like it for beach decor. There's no mark on the bottom, although you can see it's got the, the vintage look, right? That vintage dirty look of being sitting somewhere for a long time. So yeah, I, um, yeah, Monterey Bay Aquarium. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And then I've been to, um, well, we get, you know, we get SeaWorld and we get, um, you know, Wild Animal Park down in San Diego. So feel pretty spoiled that we get some pretty cool animal stuff to do out here. Yeah. So here we go. So this is my mermaid friend. Okay. And they are going to start at $12 and she's a beautiful mermaid. I like her sparkly tail. And, um, I just love that she's got her little, her little friend. So, and I like how her scarf goes all the way down. I think it's really pretty. So, um, her hair is, is gorgeous. Her hair is a little bit yeah, she's definitely vintage. Her hair has like some seaweed, <laughs> seaweed chic. I don't know. Um, there we go. So here's like the kind of like she's got like some, I'll just say it. Wash your hair, girl. It's kind of dirty. All right. It's just, it's just seaweed residue, but yeah, she's definitely dirty. So I always like dust them and, and clean them, but the, with this sparkle here, you would just have to really spot clean. And probably I would say the magic eraser would do well on that. She's, <laughs> she is, she's a mommy. That's right. Carolina. She's got her little, her little baby dolphin. Look at her top. Look, her top is cute. Yeah, super cute. All right, so here she is. If anybody's interested or watching on the replay, this is our mommade. And here we go. Make sure I write this down. There we go. And she's and she's $12. Oh, yeah, string of pearls faux plant would look. Yeah, that's true. That's right. You could put, yeah, a little, little string of pearls, like a, um, yeah, like the sea of string of turtles, but it's the little pearly ones coming out of there. That would look really pretty. So. Very cool. There she is. Okay, goodbye. Swim away, mommy. All right. Yeah. So LaDonna says a soft toothbrush on this too. Yeah, clean up her hair a little bit. So, I mean, it is in the back. 
So on my thumbnail on the coffee cup, it said tacky in the backy. So yeah, it is in the back. The front looks cleaner. So I don't know why. I don't know how she got dirtier on the back, but yeah, I like her soft little face. I think it's pretty. So, all right, we're going to put her aside. She is $12. All right. Kind of getting to the end here. All right, so I want to show a piece of pottery because to me, this looks just like the beach. Just like the beach. Guess what? There's no dolphin. No dolphin. No dolphin inside. Um, yeah, it looks just like the beach to me, down to like the foaming waves right there. Here's the sand, the foaming waves, and the beach. So I just think this is a really, really cool um, pottery piece. I like the glaze on it. I'll rotate it so you guys can see while I check to see. This is, this is going to start at $9 and it's marked right here. Um, I have researched this particular mark. It's a stamp. It's a pottery stamp. It has four uh, squares inside of a square and um, pottery stamps are many. So there's many, many pottery stamps. And so it is hard to research sometimes. This is the bottom. No stamps or marks on the bottom, but it is stamped here. And I'm not sure about the maker on that. But um, I'll keep turning it here so you guys can see. And there we go. We even get into some greens up here underneath the, the, um, the rim of this. You can see we get into some greens. So we have the sand, the water, the ocean, and some green trees, green grass up on there. So this is going to be starting at, I don't want to say the wrong one. Do, 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 do. Nine dollars. Oh, I see Jenny at nine dollars. Thank you, Jenny. Yep. So very cool. And this is, let me give you guys the dimensions. This is five inches tall by two and a half inches wide. And yeah, really pretty detail. And the inside, it is um, glazed all the way down. And you can definitely use this for flowers anything you like, and it's in good condition all around, all the way around here. So, all right. If anybody else is interested, go ahead and bid because I'm going to start counting this down. So, yes, isn't it pretty? I love it. All right. I'm going to say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Very good. Oh, look at that. Hi, Julie. Hello, hello. All right. Thank you, Jenny. This is coming your way. I'm going to put that with your, with your box over here. Great, great. Oh, Julie, it's so good to see you. So I, I didn't, um, I explained that, uh, that you were, were, uh, helping family and, and uh, giving some extra care to your mother-in-law, but I didn't say anything else about this particular weekend. I figured I'll let you, uh, I'll let you tell that, tell the extra other part of the weekend. So, all right. Yay. Well, I, I did tell everybody, I'm like, we're hoping that she's stopping by and saying hi. Um, but you're here. Yay. I miss you. I miss you. All right. Let me write that down for Jenny. Pottery base. There we go. All right. Thanks, Jenny. First day I've ever had to ice the coffee, Julie, at 9 a.m., but it's already, I think it's up to 85 degrees here now. Although I have a feeling it's probably hotter where you are. Mm-hmm. Kind of giving away the secret. All right. So I think we're about to the end. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I think so. Yes. Okay, these are my last items, you guys. All right. These are super cool. I love these. Let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, good. So you have a shorter. Um, oh, nice. That'll that'll be a nice pairing. You'll have to show me once you put them together. So I like to mix and match pottery of like similar kinds and stuff. All right, you guys. So I think this is my last item for beach. Now I did originally plan on doing like an Easter clearance. So I have lots of eggs. If anybody needs eggs, I got art glass eggs. I got milk glass eggs. I got porcelain eggs. 
All right. <laughs> Good to see you, Julie. Thanks for being here. All right. So for my last item for beach today, it is some sea stars, some beautiful glass sea stars, you guys. So this is going to be choice for these guys. And they start at $11. And it's $11 for a piece. And you can choose the blue or you can choose the pink um, kind of spotted pink and white. Now it looking, it's looking really white on. Okay. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to take, I, I just have to show Julie's comment because I didn't want to give too much away. So Julie says we had a trip booked and my brother-in-law is watching my mother-in-law. So that's, that's all great. And then it says, we just landed. Everyone watch Instagram to see who we are visiting. So I didn't give it away, Julie. I just said you couldn't be here. So yeah, you guys will have to go over and check Instagram um, because it's, uh, yeah, Julie's having a fun excursion, which is well-deserved and much needed right now. So Julie, I want you to have a fantastic weekend and um, yeah, just enjoy yourself, rest, and just have some fun and take your mind off everything. So that's great. Glad to hear you landed safely, and I'm excited for you, and I'm not going to say any more, because if you guys don't want to know where she is, then you're going to have to go to Instagram. <laughs> so, all right. Now, this one is coming across as more white, but you can see it's got pink speckle in it, and here's the bottom of this one. So, the bottom is, um, it's completely polished, and it's got this circle, which looks like a sticker, but it's not. It's just the glass because of the inlaid white right here. It's just, like, white. It's, it's, polish all the way through to where it's white. So this particular sea star is um, just shy of six inches from one um, little arm to the other. And it's just a really cool design. It's got this little 3D thing right here. And it does come across as it is white, but then it's got these uh, like pink speckles in it. So I hope that's coming through. This one has a lot of the pink speckles. So maybe you can see that one quite well. So really cool design. Um, I actually like to put figurines in my plants. And I would also, I would put this in my plant too. Like at the bottom, if I, I have like a big tree. Um, the nice thing about putting like glass things in your, or even little ceramic animals in your plants is that when I water them, it doesn't matter. So you could water this and it can get wet and then it just dries. So if I had like a big planter sitting outside, you could put this in, which I think would be pretty cool. So this is the first one. And then the second one, oh, I love the color of it. So here it is. It's very, very clear. Um, this is from an estate sale. It's really high quality. This is polished. You can see right through it. Um, is a couple little minuscule bubbles, but yeah, just a cool little art glass sea star. And this one is smaller, but fatter. So this one is um, about four inches from arm to arm, but um, it's kind of like a more a more plump. Yeah, this one's a little thinner and this one's a little chunkier. So anyway, so these are going to be $10 um, and it is choice. So if anybody's interested and we have a blue and a pink and they look kind of pretty together. So these would also look pretty sitting in a bowl, like with some um, shells, driftwood. It's kind of cool. Sometimes it's neat to do like all natural elements and do like a little plant, wood, and then shells, and then you put something that's like man-made. So it looks kind of cool. It like adds a little pop to it and makes it a little more interesting. So yeah, so we have these. Yay, everybody's here. This is so exciting. Thanks, you guys. I like to see so many visitors with me on, on Friday. That's awesome. So yeah, so here's these two. And these are uh, $10 each, your choice. All right. And we'll put those down. All right, everybody. So there we go. All right, that's everything that I had for my beach today, but I still have a couple more things to show you, and then I'll look at our at our show and tell. And uh, we have our giveaway as well. So let me do the giveaway. So those of you that purchased today um, have a chance to get the postcard. So you guys know that I always um, use this cute little thing. Where'd it go? This is my. Actually, I think I think my sister picked this last week. Oh, okay. Awesome. Brenda, thank you. Coming your way, Brenda. These are super cool. Glad you like these. All right. Awesome. Brenda's going to get the starfish. So they are very fun. I love these. So great. I'm. Thanks for telling me. That's perfect. Yeah. Awesome. 
Um, I'm going to put you down for that, Brenda, and that's great timing because I'm just getting ready to do um, to do our postcard giveaway. So let me get all the names into my cute little bucket. This is always my little giveaway bucket when I go on shows or things like that, and I want to, to do a giveaway. Um, this is always just my perfect little vessel that I use to do that. And uh, my sister picked it last week to go on sale at the sale, right? I think so. I think so. So, oh, yeah, that's going to look really cute with your glass animals. Definitely, Brenda. Awesome. All right. Very good. So um, I'm going to do my drawing now. And I guess I can say vessel is still available from last week's show. <laughs> um, and this is to win the, um, the vintage La Jolla postcard, which is um, really pretty three in here. Shake a, shake a, shake a. All right. So you guys can see I'm not looking. I'm not looking. All right. I have it. It's in my hand. Let's see who won. Jenny. Yay. Congratulations, Jenny. You won the giveaway. So this um, postcard will be coming as well into your, uh, in your box. So woohoo. There we go. All right, so that was good. And just to show you guys, I always I always like to show everybody was in there. Yeah, I had LaDonna in there, and I had um, and I had oh, Brenda as well. So anyway, congrats, Jenny. That's awesome. I'm gonna put this post-it right there, so I know that's going to you. Yes, yes. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys. So uh, let's see. So a couple things I have to share with you. Want, want. I don't know. It's just so sad. Look at. So this happened. <laughs> I know. She's in a bowl. She's in a bowl. It's really sad. Oh, by the way, the bowl was on sale last week too. <laughs> it's a. It's a Fostoria June etch. Anyway, she's in pieces. I I dropped. The shelf. I hit the shelf with the curtain. The shelf fell. There's her neck. I can't, I can't get rid of her. I can't get rid of her. She's a super special figurine. She's Disney Japan. This was given to me back in 1997. No, mm -mm. no, 1992, uh, 1992, maybe. Anyway, there it is. Disney Japan. There's her body. This is the dancing. This is the ballerina. I always say it wrong. I always say flamingo. Ostrich. From Disney. From Fantasia. Look at, look at her. Gosh, she's just a head. I know. I, I'm going to glue it, LaDonna, um, Melinda. I am. Because, so this this was the first character that I ever was in um, when I worked at Disneyland, when I danced at Disneyland. And it was the first time I was, I don't know, I was like 20, 21 maybe. And I couldn't come home for Christmas because we did parades on Christmas. So my whole family came down and visited. They were in Northern California. They came down to visit so they could see the parade. And my grandparents were there. And my mom and my grandparents got me this figurine because this was my character. So they went in the gift shop and got me her. So I, I can glue her on like that. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I guess I'm going to glue her. I can't throw her away. It was like, you know, oh, that's okay. We understand, Jewel. So, yeah. So Julie's on the shuttle. So she just has landed somewhere. I'm not going to say it. But, um, yeah. So that's okay. We're just happy that you said hello. And I'm happy to hear that you landed safely. So, Yeah. Let's see. Blue, oh, sorry. Yeah. E6000. Okay. So E6000, that's what we use at the dance studio to do all of our rhinestoning. Melinda, I know you like the rhinestone point shoe that I did. That's what I used, E6000. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, that's what I'm going to use to glue her back together again because I can't get rid of her. So it's such a special gift. I was so bummed. I break a lot of stuff. My sister can attest to that. I'm really clumsy. I don't know. I'm not careful. I don't hang things well. It's my own fault. But anyway, I break a lot of stuff. And if it's a teacup or whatever, like it's just stuff. I don't cry over it. It's not a big deal. I know myself well enough to know that um, not everything that is around me is going to survive. But um, occasionally I break something and it's like, oh, so this one, this one hurts. So I'm going to repair her. She's just, 
She's living in a bowl. She lives in a bowl. So sad. It's okay. Yes. So, um, <laughs> I know it's so sad. I don't, does everyone know your parade, Disney parade story? Oh, bowl in a China shop. That's for, that's for sure. So yeah. And so I, I got this out so you guys could see. So here's a picture. I don't know if you can see. So there I am. So that's me in the parade. And this is my figurine. It's my little head. So that's me. So we all had different costumes. And that's how we could tell which costume was ours. Because once you start the season in that costume, that's your costume. So that's me. Because I picked the most obnoxious one who has her mouth open. Like, what? So anyway, so that's me in the Disney parade. And then this was why they got me this. And it's so sad. Anyway. I will fix you. I promise. I will. I promise. So. Oh, okay. So Brenda, <laughs> Brenda, let me send you this. And then since you're so great at repairing Tinkerbell, <laughs> I know I thought about that, Jenny. I, I wonder when Disney stopped making their figurines in Japan. I don't know. And I mean, I have thought about going on and seeing if I can uh, collect another one. I mean, I would still keep this one. But um, just to have another one, you know, as a backup in case, because as Brenda says, um, earthquake damage. Yeah, that's that's real. And I know that um, Leanne, um, I know you tried the the putty, the museum putty. So had I had this on, had it been on my shelf with museum putty, I think when the shelf like unhooked and whoosh, boom, I think it would have stuck. I'm pretty sure it would have. I'm pretty sure museum glue would have saved it. So, yeah. I think it would have. So, um, yeah, so that's, that goes in the project pile. Usually if I break something, it's like, whoosh, 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 get the dustpan. Bye-bye. And like Marie Kondo, thank you for your service. I've appreciate, appreciated having you. And, but I can always move on from it because life is more important than just stuff. But that one was a little hard for me. So I, she'll be, I will give an update much like I give an update on my string of turtles. I will give an update on her and let you guys know. <laughs> it might have to be really far away on a shelf now. Oh, so I don't see any of the cracks. Yeah, that's so cool. And I have, I have a bunch of, um, I have a Disney sale coming up at some point. So if anybody's interested, but I'm going to do a Disney, I'm going to do a Disney Tuesday night. Sorry, I keep going up in my chair, but I have a really, um, I have to sit on a bunch of pillows. So I have to keep propping myself up. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I liked being an ostrich. Yeah, I liked being an ostrich. We have some funny stories about that. So, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a Disney sale coming up on a Tuesday night. And I have um, Disney. I do have some Disney Japan dwarf uh, figurines. I don't have the whole set of seven. I have just four of them. They lost the other three in the forest. But and they're pretty like they're pretty well. They will be priced accordingly because one you know uh, broken arm scuff paint loss so but they're they're somehow the little dwarfs look cute kind of like all crazy and kind of hammered like that. <laughs> they just look kind of fits them you know all right good 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 all right you guys well thank you so much um we're gonna i want to check my phone i want to see if anybody posted anything for the show and tell which is kind of fun um and then the other thing i was going to show you guys i want to check my little list here um Oh, we'll talk about next week. <clears throat> and let me see. Let me go to my, to my, uh, to our hashtag. So if you ever want to post for anybody that's, um, that doesn't know, what you do is you use hashtag vintage coffee talk, which is the name of our Friday show. And you can post things there that you would like us to show on um, our show every Friday morning. And sometimes we do a theme. And sometimes we just do items so you can show something with the theme or you can show something um, that you would just like us to see. So let's see. Oh, how cool. So I have one here. This is from um, Carolina. She says, I don't consider myself a doll person. I saw her in a thrift store and couldn't leave her behind. Now she lives propped up on my couch. She's even wearing bloomers. Oh my gosh, how cool. Now, um, if you if you aren't following Carolina, um, follow because you'll see her. 
Now, this is where you guys helped me out last week. Oh, turn down the brightness on my phone. I'm going to try to remember this. Turn down the brightness on my phone. Done. Check. And then real close. Real close. Real better. Okay, there we go. So you can see that um, uh, Carolina is uh, turnip greens, underscore turnip greens, underscore for Instagram. Now, Julie's phone is always better at this than mine. I'm usually the reader of the description and she's usually the shower today on both. So you'll have to bear with my camera. It's just my laptop camera. And Julie has a really nice camera that she uses for her crafting videos. It's a nice camera. So yeah, so this doesn't always come through great, but it's actually coming through pretty, pretty good. So that's so awesome. Isn't that so funny how there's just, there's certain things that speak to us, certain expressions that a figurine might have that just uh, speak to us. So, <laughs> oh, doing good. Okay. Thanks, Melinda. All right. So there's that. That's really cool. She's got bloomers on and everything. I like the hair. I feel like the hair is Kind of like not really Betty Boop hair, but I just like the shape of the hair. Super cool. Thanks for showing that, Carolina. I like her a lot too. All right. Okay. Wow, look at this. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is from Melinda, who um, it says lavish mango, but as you guys know in the chat, you're going to see lavish monkey. AKA, um, no, you're going to see, yes, you're going to see Lavish Monkey, AKA Lavish Mango. Um, two shots of my giant soft sculpture. The artist is Mariona Barkas and dates to the 1980s. I inherited this from my mother who had it hanging in her bedroom. Mariona was a patient and friend of hers. Mariona moved on from soft sculpture into print book art with the theme of social justice. She now has work in the Getty collection. In case it's not clear, the sculpture is an extreme close-up of beetles walking across wood. Wow. So Melinda, when you say soft sculpture, these these beetles we're looking at um, are actually would be like uh, fabric, stuffed fabric. And then I'm assuming that the legs are made of something hard. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is um this is Melinda, Lavish Monkey. Wow. I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to get close on this one. I can, yeah. So it almost looks to me like it's made of a, uh, like a, like a soft, like a short velvet or something. Oh my goodness. Wow. Interesting piece. There's another picture here. So this gives you some scale. You can see how large the piece is up on the wall, how much it's, how much um, room it's taking up on the wall. And then she sent, a second one so that we could see a close-up and what's interesting is so that i like that the beetle at the top it's as if it's just you have a half a beetle up here and then half a beetle because it's like they're trailing up so yeah they're stuffed figures so yeah very cool that's very interesting it's nice that you know so much about the um it's so much you know it's nice you know so much about the artist and the history that's awesome so all right, just trying to catch up. Oh. oh, thanks for checking. There's a Japan made ostrich for about $40, including shipping. Thanks for checking, Melinda. I hadn't had time to do that, but I was very interested if it was even something that I could find. So thanks for checking on that. Thank you, Melinda, for posting that. That's what I'm talking about. You guys know I'm always like, it's fun to have stuff that nobody else has and nobody else has ever seen. So. Awesome. All right. Uh, this is from LaDonna. One of my favorite collections are my Japan penny dolls. I used a vintage silver cracker tray to corral them. Oh, that's awesome. I love that, that repurposing of that. How fun. These are great. And I really think this is from LaDonna. There she is, LaDonna Durbin at the top if you're not following her. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying to do my best. Everybody should go. If you just go onto our hashtag vintage coffee talk, you can look at these up close and personal and get probably a better view. But with, like I said, just using my laptop camera, it's not great. And then she's used this cool, um, like little tray, cracker tray back there. And then I like these tall guys over here. Oh, they're so fun, LaDonna. I love that. 
and they're um yeah they're they just look great all together now you can kind of see the the little tray that she's got there underneath you can see it on the side so oh a little itty bitty one you can see the cracker tray there so very cool nice display LaDonna I love that okay oh she did a hot dog for soft sculpture <laughs> that's perfect I love that all right this is a gold star thrifter which if you guys aren't following Robert from the chat then um, go ahead and do that on Instagram uh, Robert says recently became interested in vintage glass so I bought a couple tall glass candlesticks online then added some large flower shaped clear glass pieces found at the thrift store on short pedestals added them together then placed multicolor thingamabob it's a technical term lights bought from eBay to put this all together wow so cool okay so here it is so you can see that what he has here is he's got these bases, which are the tall things. And then the there are lights in the, I believe, the like the blue would have the lights in it. And there's a third one over here as well. Looks like that's also lit up. So I have to get, I have to get going with these lights, these eBay, these eBay, eBay lights, because I see people doing some really, really cool stuff with them. Um, really close. There we go. Yeah, very cool. If you're not following Robert, it's right there. You can see Gold Star Thrifter, and he's got some really cool decor ideas. And um, Robert is great at taking things and reusing them, turning them over, adding them into something. Yeah, so you have to go and check it out because he does really unique things with how to how to display different things, and I love that. So, all right, very cool. Um, here, for instance, yeah, I'll just show, bought this nautical water fountain over 35-ish years ago, converted to a planter. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. So this is a, um, a water fountain, and then he made it a planter, added in an elephant. So really cool idea. Um, oh, and there, okay, so Robert was talking about the, the faux string of pearls plant um, that I, you could put it in the mermaid. So there he's put that underneath the elephant, if you can see. Sorry, I know I'm getting a really bad glare. This is not my strong suit on showing stuff, but there you can see he's got that little plant coming out with the elephant. So very cool, Robert. Very nice. Excellent. Yes, I agree. Okay, the lights were made by Party Light. Okay. Oh, the lights you got were made by Party Light. Yeah, I really got to get on that. I For candles, I do actual wax candles. I mean... I, I probably shouldn't be a wax candle person if you saw how much wax is on some of my things. But I've always just been a real wax person as far as candles go. Um, but I, I think uh, I do actually get the little tiny lights where you can. I have a couple plants downstairs and I just kind of they're like the invisible little uh, very, very baby string lights. And you can just take the little battery pack and I just hide it behind and I kind of have them strewn in my plants. Um, I do like doing that, but I haven't shown off any of my art glass with that. So. Sorry, Melinda. Melinda, why are you getting dizzy? What's up? What's wrong? I'm doing my best. <laughs> As I said, Julie is the shower. I am the talker. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> All right. So one more thing I want to show you guys is... I want to show you our eggs because I unpacked them the other day. Yay. So this is my bowl. This is my matchers bowl with Auntie Christy. Yes, it is. Um, we have matcher bowls because I got two and I sold one and she got it. So now we're matchers. But I want to show you guys if anybody wants a fun activity to do. I unpacked my Easter stuff and this is a cool thing to do. And I thought it might be fun for you to see. And I hope it is. But anyway, you can... Um, hollow out real eggs so this is one last year that we did we do this activity and um this is a this is an egg it's been uh, uh blown out washed and dried and it's really kind of easy to do once you get the hang of it so we did a bunch last year and i saved this one because nobody painted on this one so what you do is you get um like a you get like a you can use um a thumbtack or a safety pin 
or one of those little stabbers that you use in potatoes in the kitchen. And you just make um, one hole usually has to be a little bit bigger, but this is like the vent hole. So you make a tiny hole in the top of the egg with like a, um, we usually use a, a push pin. And then you have to make a little bit bigger hole in the bottom because what you're going to do, it's gross. It's gross when you do it, but you, um, you go like this and you blow through, it's got lipstick on this one. You blow through the top little hole and you blow out all the um, egg out into a bowl. Yeah. So my dogs love it when we do this because usually in the middle of the day, nobody's feeling like a giant omelet, but we end up with a bunch of scrambled eggs. So I just scramble them up with no salt and pepper and keep them in the fridge and they get treats. But yeah, so it is, it's, it makes a gross sound. It's just as gross as you think it would be when you're like, oh, this stuff's like, oh. so it's gross, but <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then what we do is we usually run some water in there. We'll put a little bit of water, we shake it up, let it go out, and then we dry them. So they're totally normal and it's like an intact egg and it's really cool. So I'm going to show you the ones that we did that we've done over the years. Cause I always save them now the, you know, about tacky and the backy. So You'd think that these are just totally fine. They're not. Yeah. So these are my um, son's eggs. And he was young when he made these. And he can't stand not to crush them. So this one, he did like a marbled one. And um, and then, of course, he cracks it because that's the fun of an egg, right? I agree. Well, what's an egg? How do you have fun with an egg if you can't crack it, right? And then this was his other marbled one. So I keep these and I add these in because there are good sides of them. <laughs> I'm the good side. So these were two that were made by my son. And, oh, I've not made confetti eggs. They sell confetti eggs at, I got them one year. They sell them. It's like an egg carton. It's in the, I think maybe at Target. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They sell confetti eggs now, but I've never made them. I suppose you could. So you would just, you would just make this bigger you would fill it with confetti, put some clear masking tape, and then you could decorate it. And then boom. Yeah. So, all right. So then this one, so uh, my older son made this, haha, ha, tongue in cheek. I was like, come on, do one more egg, paint one more. So he took a, a yellow blob and he put it there and there you go. It's an egg. All right. This is my son's from a long time ago. My older son's from a long time ago. So he painted that in a cool stripe. I like that one. Um, this was my son's from last year, my older son from last year. He did like an ooey gooey egg, painted it, and then did um did some Sharpie design. So it looks like slime. And then this one was me from a few years ago. I don't know what you call it, just rando design. Some gold paint. So yeah, and they're all super light. They're very fragile. So they're hard to like pack up if you want to want them to last for the next year. This was my older son. His girlfriend did this last year at the house. So I know, I know it's the egg egg. This is me after, my, you know, because my son took all kinds of time doing this one, you know, and I, was, and I had done enough for everybody to paint two eggs. And then I'm like, come on, you got to paint your other egg. But I mean, this is you know, he's a perfectionist and this is, was very time consuming. So his first one and then bam, <laughs> second one. There you go, mom. Got my second egg done. All right. So yes, this is um, his girlfriend did this one last year. Oh, so cute. I could never paint like that. I mean, the reason I have to do this is because if I mess up, you'll never know. I mean, I have no ability to like make an actual thing. So swirlies. Exactly. Yes. That's exactly it. That's like, I can swirl it. You'll notice that every one of mine has no, I can't draw anything like that. Um, I have to do, I'm all into abstract only because it's all I got. So, all right. There, oh, and here's another one. Okay. So I guess we have, oh no, that's it. So here's the, that one will be for this year. This is another one of mine. Again, there you go. I can spatter. I can do paint spatter, paint splatter. So this is mine from a few years ago. A green top. I always like to cover the holes because you got to do something to cover the holes. So there's that one. That's mine. Um, I know she did such a good job. She just looked. There was a bunny on. And she didn't trace it. There was a bunny on something, and she just looked at it and just. Oh, I'm just gonna do a bunny. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna do swirlies because I I don't have anything else. This is mine too. This is my ombre. Is I called this my strawberry lemonade egg. Yeah, did not cover the hole well on that one. There we go. There's that. This one, I want to say, 
Care Bear, if you're still here, who did this egg? I don't know. I love it. It's clearly not mine. That I know. It's either one of my sons or it's my son's girlfriend, other one. Uh, my sister, I think, boycotted the painting of the eggs, party pooper. Did you even do any Care Bear? I don't think she did any. Um, anyway, I love this one. It's this cool ombre bluish egg thing. So I don't know who did it, but I love it. So anyway, so those are my eggs and I unpacked them and I just wanted to share. And if anybody wants to do it, you can go on YouTube and there's a ton of tutorials about how to do it. And um, it's like, yeah, and they paint really well. So yeah. And then I just put them in a bowl like that. And it looks cool. Oh, cat. Yes. Okay. That's why it's, so, yeah, this is cat. This is my niece, cat, also a perfectionist. So cat and Jay have that in common, our, our two kids, um, cousins. Yeah, they're both take incredible amounts of time. Yes, I believe this was cat's egg. Correct. Correct, Amundo. So, nope. And not one in here. Not one from my sister. Okay, well, I'm bringing this up when I see you, and you will paint an egg this year. I need one in the bowl from you. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's cat's egg. Anyway, so they look really pretty in here. Just a bowl full of Easter eggs. All right. So that brings me to talk about next weekend because Easter is coming. So a couple of announcements coming up about, um, about next week. So I can say it because he's not here. So Tuesday, normally I would go on Tuesday for my Tuesday chat and sail and haul and fun and whatever. Um, but Tuesday, I'm going to be gone all day. Um, and I can say it here because I don't think my son will go back and watch this on the replay, but, um, my youngest turns 14 on Easter. And so I'm surprising him with an impromptu day off of school. He gets to play hooky and we're going to go for a surprise early birthday day that he doesn't know about. And, um, I actually have my classes off that day because for that particular studio, they're on spring break. So I get a little break on my classes and the stars aligned and I was like, oh my gosh, we're doing it because I've wanted to do that for him this year. He's worked really hard in school. He's getting great grades. He does not complain about going to school. He gets up every morning. He's a great kid and um, he is just, yeah, he is just a good kid and he deserves it. So um, we are going to be gone all day. I think I am going to do a surprise amusement park day. And so we're going to get in the car. Um, at our normal time, which we get in the car at 7.15, 7.20, and that's our drive to school, and he'll be all ready, and then he'll just think that I'm taking him to school, because, and then I come home, and then I go to work at the dance studio, and then we're just not going to drive that way, and then he's going to be like, mom, where's this turn there? Mom, where are you going? Mom, where are you, what's happening? And then we're going to be like, surprise! So, okay, if anybody from the school district... <laughs> It's listening. You did not hear it from me. All right. Um, so all that is to say that I will not be on on Tuesday because we won't be back yet from our day. So, And even if we're back in time, I won't have time. Usually I'm home in the afternoon and that's when I'm planning and doing all that stuff. Um, so I just won't be able to do it on that Tuesday night. I just want to go back. Oh, Nancy's come in. Hi, Nancy. How fun. Did you make a quiche that day? Um, let's see. I'm trying to go back. Maybe that's not for me. I'm trying to follow. Sorry, I'm talking. Need to talk and talk and watch. Talk and watch. Um, I'm not sure if that's for me. Did I make a quiche on the day that we that we painted eggs? No, I don't think so. Sounds good though. Oh, right. Make a quiche. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Hello. Um, no, I, I blew out, we blew out all the eggs and, uh, none of us felt like eggs. So I just cook up all the goo and uh, I just cook it up in a frying pan with no salt, pepper, anything. And it's for my dogs. And then I, they get little scoops of treats. That's, that's what we do with the eggs. But that's the thing that you could do. If you plan a big day where you're going to blow out all the eggs and paint them, or, you know, you, you can just, put paint them with uh, glue and put uh, glitter on them. How beautiful would that look? Um, but if you're going to do that, then yes, I definitely recommend, you know, make an omelet, make a quiche. So yeah, that would be a great idea. I get it now. I'm a little slow. Um, hi, 
Hi, Nancy. Remind me to show my egg next week. Okay. Well, okay. So that brings me to, to next week. Aw, I would love to have her back on. All right. Yeah. Just reading. <laughs> That's okay. I should have gotten it when it was quiche. We were talking about eggs. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think it, I think it'll be a fun day. So, so no, no Tuesday night next week. And then next Friday, it's actually Easter weekend. And so um, I am going to be out of town. So I will not be able to, um, to do vintage coffee talk. So we are taking a break next week. So Melinda, show us your egg in two weeks. Um, because yes, uh, it's good Friday that day. Um, some people might have off work, but, um, I'm not sure, but I will actually be going out of town Thursday afternoon because my son has school off on Friday, um, uh, for good Friday. And then, um, we're going to be celebrating Easter and his Easter birthday, um, up in Northern California with my sis and my brother-in-law and one of my nieces. So I will be out of town. Um, Julie will be back in town, um, but Julie will be on in terms of, um, of giving care to her mother-in-law. So next Friday, we are going to be taking a vintage coffee talk break. And we hope you guys have a fantastic Easter and um, a fantastic weekend and have a great, um, a great weekend. And um, we will be back the weekend, uh, the Friday after that, for sure. In fact, I'll be back the Tuesday after that. So, um, yeah, Tuesday, um, I will be um, doing birthday things and the weekend doing Easter things. So, um, but the following Tuesday, and I'll, I'll put something out about, about it on um, Instagram. And, um, yeah, I'll be doing a Tuesday. I'll probably use that Tuesday night for my Disney sale. So, I have a small Disney um, haul. It's really a haul, but if you guys see anything that you like, you're welcome to, to um, pick that up on a Tuesday night. So, I'll probably do a Disney haul on that Tuesday night. And then um, Julie and I will see about the following Friday if we're going to do a theme or if we're just going to do a Friday fun day. So that's the plan. So, yeah. Oh, nice. That sounds so great. Universal. Actually, that's funny, Liam, because we have we like to go to Disney and my family. We've, of course, skipped for the last couple of years with, um, you know, the, the pandemic and everything. We just hasn't been on the plate to go to places like that with crowds. So, um so yes, we, um, but my sister and I were just talking that maybe it would be fun to, to do universal and mix it up. Uh Oh, I think I'm a little bit fuzzy, foggy. Let me double check here. Getting a signal alert. Do, do, do. Let me see. So I'm just seeing, cause sometimes, Oh, it's gone now. Okay. I should be clear. Sometimes on my laptop, I get this little, um, icon that pops up. It's my little boop, 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 boop thing. And there we go. Okay. Seem to be okay. Am I coming in clear? Yes. All right. Good, good. Okay. I just like to check on my phone because <laughs> there's been times where I look back on the video. I've had to like check something, like check some, you know, a price or check who's, who bought something. And I look and I'm like, oh, that was awful. It was all pixelated. So we seem to be good. Um, yeah. So we were actually throwing around that idea like, hey, we haven't been to Universal in a long time. And we have great memories. When we lived down, we lived in Arcadia. We're little and um, oh, we went there and the we have great memories of going on that that backstage tour thing. And I mean, now they've got all kinds of rides and everything. But we have thought about, you know, that would be a fun thing, too, because I don't think our kids have really experienced it like we did. It was a big deal when we were young and it had just opened like and it was a, you know, behind the scenes thing of Hollywood. It was it was very fascinating. So we're not really well, I should say I'm not really a Harry Potter fan, although I'd be happy to go to, to Harry Potter land there. But. Um, you know, they, they have so much there now that we haven't seen. So I haven't even been on the Despicable Me ride there yet. And we love those movies. So anyway, yeah, so we are thinking about doing that. So, all right, everybody. Well, this has been so fun. I want to check and make sure that I don't forget to tell you guys anything because I made my little list. Um, thank you to everybody that did the show and tell. I appreciate it. Um, we love to see your guys' collection and we love to be able to share. So we encourage you to, to keep sharing and we'll always go back and find things that we can show to everybody. Um, and Julie, we wish you the best and, um, go to Instagram to see what Julie's doing this weekend. It's really exciting. I'm very happy for her and, um, I miss you on vintage coffee talk and can't wait till you can return. And, uh, thank you to those that purchased today. And I will be, um, doing my invoicing and shipping this weekend. And 
I think that that's about it. So no Tuesday or no Friday next week. So I'm just taking some time. Thank you, Nancy. Yes, please. Thank you for reminding me. If you could give a thumbs up, that would be great. Um, and if you'd like to leave a comment, um, that would be wonderful. And if you're listening and not subscribed, I'd appreciate that too. So um, we love our Friday mornings here and um, we will see you not next Friday, but the following. And uh, I will put something out about doing a Disney haul uh, next Tuesday. So I uh, hope you all have a great time uh, this weekend. Enjoy yourself. Stay cool if you're in a heat wave <laughs> and stay warm if you guys are experiencing that weather because uh, I know there's a lot going on out there. So thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, we will talk soon. So I enjoyed my morning with you guys as usual. So cheers, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Robert, and Karen, and Melinda, and Nancy, and Leanne, and everybody. Um, just seeing the people that I can see at the chat right now, but it's been great, and I appreciate your time. And um, yeah, if you see something on the replay, reach out to me if you're interested. And this was apparently the dolphin sale. Who knew? All right, you guys, take care and have a wonderful weekend. Love you guys.